at that. This is no way, in any way, me bragging about what I have. My collection is honestly things that have been built over a long period of time, seven to eight years, honestly, and some products even more. I know products do have expiration dates, but I myself am a hoarder. So I keep a lot of my stuff, even though I probably shouldn't, but you know, whatever. So I just thought I would show you guys um, just the products that I love and what I kind of keep stored here in my makeup room. But other than that, let's just get started because I got a lot of stuff. So sitting here, I have three drawers on this side and I have three drawers on this side. So the first drawer that we got over here, this is my contouring slash bronzing slash a little bit of brows and some eyeliner. So it's not really a designated drawer, but majority of it is bronzers and contours. So products that I loved for contouring, Makeup Forever, really good cream contour. This is in the color 30. My NARS contour and highlighting stick. I really do enjoy these a lot even though i don't really use the highlighter as much i should park avenue princess by tarte kat von d of course this is always a staple some of my favorite bronzers if you guys saw my favorites video my bare minerals invisible bronze this is in the color medium best bronzer ever along with hourglass i do have a lot of hourglass products this is radiant bronze my favorite very very warm um very glittery like not glittery but very luminous bronzer you can see I'm already starting to hit pan on that love this Anastasia bronzers these bronzers are absolutely amazing something that I used to really reach for a lot was the Bobbi Brown ones and now that Anastasia came out with them I feel like it's very very similar in the style but I'm a little bit more of a fan of the Anastasia one not gonna lie Oh my gosh, does anybody own this? Oh my God, I literally got this in 2011. So going back to me saying about products that expire, yes, they do expire. Let's see if it, oh, doesn't have it on here. Um, let me see if one of my products has it. Oh, okay, perfect. The Bare Minerals, let's see if it'll zoom in. This guy in the little corner, it says, 12 months it looks like a little can and it'll tell you how long this lasts this itself is probably 12 months as well but i've had it for eight years so yep i'm not gonna get rid of it oh got some physician's formula some more hourglass some nars love me some nars this is hmm, let me reopen this one because i forgot about this oh wow now that is gorgeous okay so basically this is going to be a makeup collection slash oh amanda forgets what she used to have and now we'll start using it again Ooh, mark jacobs this used to be my favorite highlighting and contour palette of life if you guys can see that oh wow this has been a minute oh. I forgot all about this one. Uh, saving that. A lot of bronzers here, guys. Just shove them back here. Oh my gosh, I forgot. This, okay. <laughs> now, probably like four or five years ago, this was the best bronzer ever. Could you focus? Probably not, right? Hold up. Thank you. Um, This guy was a loose bronzer. Oh, I'm getting a little everywhere after I just cleaned. I loved this bronzer um, and I don't know if they still have it. I don't know if they still sell it, but this used to be my favorite bronzer along with this guy back in the day. Wow, I'm going down memory lane right now. Favorite gel liner used to be Laura Mercier. Then she stopped selling this, so okay. Ooh, these were really cool. So this is the Laura Mercier and this is actually it's called a cake eyeliner i don't know if um, any of you guys are familiar with those types of liners but it's cool because it's dry and then to activate it you put water in it and it is the darkest black liner it's so pretty but i love it because then it doesn't dry out i should really start using this more stila yes i've mentioned before stila stay all day liquid liners are my favorite of all um just liquid liners in general 
the Sephora collection. I used to use this one, the classic line. That was really good. I have Makeup Forever. Don't really use that. Um, and the Kat Von D. You know what? Don't. Okay, anyway, camera's not cooperating with me. Okay, I recently got um, almost all colors from Laura Mercier. These are her eye caviars. Cream eyeshadows. I'm, you know what? I'm starting to become a fan on cream eyeshadows again. These are just perfect for a base that you can put on before eyeshadow. You can use it just by itself. It's fine. But those are great. Second drawer. So this drawer is full of my blushes and powders and some miscellaneous powders back there. Okay, well, didn't know about those. So blushes my Lorac blush that you guys know I love this is a Lorac highlighter it's in the color prism if you guys watch my latest video along with the Tarte party blush these two are my absolute favorite Too Faced oh, this was like the best packaging ever let me see if I can open this it's so hard to open it with one hand look how pretty that is I was a sucker for the packaging like I had to have this Beautiful. Shiseido. This is another like go-to of mine. This guy, oh gosh, these are really hard to do with just one hand. I just love peachy nudes, pinky nudes, all those kind of nudes. This is in the color Alpen Glow. Love. Oh yes. Benefit Blush. This smells so good. This was really pretty too. It had a gold overlay on it when it first came out. I wish the overlays like sunk deeper into the blushes because I'd be inclined to use these blushes a little bit more. But very, very pretty. You know, I told you guys I love my peachy tones. California. What's up? Oh. This was my favorite um, highlighter before the highlighter scene kind of blew up. This is what I always, always, always use. Ooh, Fenty. So this, first of all, loved this product because one, the packaging, and two, the name. I love that it's called Me Money Hustle Baby. <laughs> Hustla Baby, sorry. And I forgot about this. I have to bring this back out and start wearing it. This I usually like to wear more in the summertime just because it is a little bit more golden for my skin tone right now during the winter, but ooh, in the summer this was beautiful then we got the wet and wild and this is their mega glow this is really pretty again it's this one's like a rosy gold but it's still a little too deep for me to wear during the winter time but during the summertime this is my jam oh Clinique when they came out with these blushes they were so beautiful this used to be one of my go-to blushes uh, just look how beautiful that is. This is in the color Nude Pop. I love that it had like a sheen to it, so it gave a beautiful glow. Just a really nice soft color, but I was definitely a sucker for this pack packaging. It was like a really pretty flower. These were really good. Clinique did a good job when they started going through a little bit of a repackaging for their brand. This blush right here is like the OG of all blushes in my opinion. This blush is by NARS and it's the color Orgasm. Yes, color's called Orgasm if you didn't know that. Um, funny story about this blush actually when I was working at Sephora. So this is when using your words correctly come into play. So I had a lady come in and she um, was looking for a blush and basically just described everything that she wanted that was very similar to this. So in my head, I'm like, oh great, I have the perfect blush, obviously this one. So I was like, oh, okay, perfect. I actually know just the perfect blush for you. Have you ever had orgasm? Great, yep, I said that. And she looked at me and I was like, NARS, it, it makes this um, beautiful pinky rosy blush like similar to what you're looking for and it's called orgasm. And then we both laughed it off and um, Yep, never said it like that ever again. Moving along. Do you like how I just like got makeup sitting out here? These are brand new from ColourPop. I just haven't had a designated spot for them yet. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. This guy is like my mascara slash a lot of palettes shoved down here. So we got the good old Jaclyn Hill palette tossed to the side. 
we got some Huda Beauty action over here. If you guys have seen any of my videos before, you've seen me use um, this one in there. And love, love, love these little obsession palettes. They're the bomb. Makeup Geek, this was actually a newer product that I got um, during Black, Black Friday? Yeah, Black Friday. Still have yet to really, really use that one. Ooh, Tarte Roasted Palette. This guy just serves all your warm dreams. <sighs> Look how beautiful that is. Now we're gonna start getting to like OG palettes down here. So I'm just gonna skip the top because this is where it gets good. Ugh. One of my first Too Faced palettes I ever bought, and this is called A Few of My Favorite Things. I think this was back in 2000 and... 13 maybe, 14. I've only used this palette a few times. I really want to go back to it. These colors in here are so creamy and pigmented. It was such a good, good palette. And then this guy, so I don't know what came first. The My Favorite one or the Everything Nice one that I bought. They're very, very similar, but I always loved when these palettes came out. I just thought it was so nice to get your blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then beautiful, beautiful shades, and then a couple little goodies. Like, these still have the brushes in them, and again, this palette is like four or five years old. Still never used it. Then I have just a little Z palette of random singles from Buxom. I actually really, really, really like the Buxom eyeshadows, these guys are so creamy and so pigmented. If you can just focus on my finger really quick. I'm gonna swatch the back of my hand really quick so you can see this. Ooh. Like, look how beautiful that is. Got another Z palette um, from some eyeshadows. These are all from Makeup Forever. They repackaged the eyeshadows now. They're like in a square. But these were the old OG ones, and they're huge. I remember when these came out, and I was like, oh my god, these are the biggest pan eyeshadows I've ever seen in my life. And I wanted all of them. Now we're going to get real old school with these palettes. Ugh, these Vice palettes from Urban Decay. I loved when they came out with the Vice palettes. These are honestly what I looked forward to every single year during Christmas time. I feel like everybody was obsessed with these palettes when they came out. Um, it was literally like you you just, you had to get them because nobody came out with stuff like this. And yeah, obviously there was stuff out like this, but that's just how Urban Decay made you feel when they came out with the Vice palettes. So this one was the original Vice. They came out with Vice too, so obviously, okay, excuse me. I had to get that one too. So it's kind of similar to the first one. After I bought these two, I just kind of stepped back from buying any more Vices that came out just because they started to get a little bit similar. But these used to be my favorite purple shades out of all the makeup that I ever had. So I was glad that I got this palette because I used to just reach in here for those purples alone. And I used to do purple smoky eyes like all, all the time. This drawer, I guess you can say more like, yeah, I had some new eyeshadow palettes in there. But I keep mostly like my OG palettes down here. Coastal Scents 88 original palette. I got this back in 2011. And I just, I can't throw it away because this is like my first makeup big girl purchase that I bought on my own. And I, you know what, I still to this day for Halloween looks, I'll go back in and use some of these shades. So nostalgic to me. Okay, some mascara that I've had. Ooh, the Lancome Monsieur mascara. This one was really good. Um... I really, really liked the Land, um, the Lancome Grenados. That was one of my personal favorites as well. Um, what else was I a fan of? Mm, not really that one. Not really that one. Oh, I forgot about this mascara. Is it even good? Yeah, no, that's nasty. Just got that little away. There was really no point in having that. Mascaras are like the only things that I will dispose of when it comes to expiration dates. Now with mascaras. You can use, um, they say no longer than six weeks, but I will use a mascara until it's done and dry, which for me, if that's three months, then it's three months. If it's six months, then it's six months. 
but you really should be careful with mascaras just because that's going directly on your eye. You could get infections, things like that, so just be careful. Um, enter at your own risk when it comes to that stuff. All right, so over here, I have all of my foundation and concealer. Some of these foundations, no, actually, let's be honest. 90% of these foundations I don't even use. You guys know what my favorite foundations are right now, but I just, I got a problem. I cannot throw things away. So, things in my concealer, you're going to find Born This Way, the um, multi-sculpting concealer. Amazing. My ColourPop concealers. So, after using them for like two solid weeks now, um, I like them. I'm not in love with them, though. I will say that. Like them. Not in love with them. I wish they were a little bit creamier. So, for anybody who likes more concealers that kind of dry down to be a little bit more matte, those guys will be for you. Um, ooh, Dior. This guy I used to love. This is their like little color correcting for under the eye. This is actually really, really nice. It's got the color around it, and then right here is like a little hydrator. So when you're pushing this along the eye, it helps to hydrate the eyes and then cover any dark circles. Really do like this product a lot. MAC, the Pro Longwear Concealer I used to be a heavy fan on. I had the shade NC20. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It wants to focus on everything else but the products in my hand. Yeah, this guy is like five years old. I just need to throw out and get a new one, but I like keep it in here to remind me that I need to get a new one and then I never get one. That's my problem. Sephora Make No Mistake Concealer. If you guys watched my last video, this is the concealer that I was using. I'm like half and half on it. Um, I love the coverage. Love the coverage. Lo like, I don't think I love anything more than this one for coverage. But it like doesn't set. And it just stays liquidy and stays creamy under my eyes. And not that great of a fan. Master Conceal, favorite drugstore concealer right now. Um, I have the color light and the color light medium. These two, favorite drugstore right now, like I said. Nothing else about it, they're just great. Go get you some, try it, they're amazing. Ooh, I used to love the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealers. My only beef with them is I'm not really a fan on their shade ranges, they just, I think there's other brands that get the shades down better, but when I am certain shades, I do really like these a lot. My Sephora one that you guys heard me talk about in my last video, along with NARS in my last video. Ooh, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I used to use this guy all the time. This has dried up. I thought about getting a new one, which again is why it's in here to remind me to get a new one, but I... Never end up getting a new one. Foundations, you guys know I love my Too Faced Born This Ways. Got three different kinds here, three different colors. Dior Nude, you know that's my favorite, along with Hourglass Veil. These two, Heaven Sent. Um, Dior, again, back to Dior, I'm a Dior fan. I do have the Forever Foundation, and this is in the color 20. This, though, does have more of a matte finish, which I'm not normally a matte lover, but if I'm gonna use a matte foundation, it's gonna be the Dior Forever. Ooh, the Sephora, this guy is amazing. This, if any of you guys know, let me see if I have it in here. I'm pretty sure I do. Where are you? It's probably like deep, deep, deep in here. If anybody has the Dior Air Flash, this to me is the closest dupe that you can find for that. Literally half the price, but the Dior Air Flash really is amazing. But if I'm going to do a cheaper route, I'm going to do this one and doctor it up to make it feel like the Dior Air Flash. Although I do have the Dior Air Flash, <laughs> the Dior Air Flash CC Primer. This stuff is the bomb.com. It's a radiance booster, so it gives a little bit of a glow to the skin. It says that it helps to kind of um, pump up fine lines and wrinkles and just really gives this beautiful feel and finish to the skin so when you put foundations on it just sits beautifully on makeup forever this hd stick is awesome if you're looking for a cream stick foundation that gives a luminous dewy full coverage glow this is your guy you know what i'm not gonna lie i'm i don't like talking bad about brands because that's just not my thing 
but Makeup Forever HD Foundation, when they reformulated it, repackaged it, redid it, whatever that they did to it, it's not as good anymore. And this is a full bottle, and I'm so sad that it sits in here because every once in a while I will re grab this and try to fall back in love with it, but every time it just does not sit the way it used to on the skin, and it always makes me break out. So, very, very disappointed because the original HD was the best. NARS, um, when they came out with this one, the Natural Radiant Longwear one, I like this guy a lot. I like glows, you guys already know this. I can't really wear a lot of matte foundations. So this gives me that perfect, full coverage, beautiful glow. And this is in the color Fiji. I feel like I never find perfect shade colors in NARS. Like it's always off for me, but I make it work. Although another Makeup Forever, I'm a big Makeup Forever fan, Face and Body Foundation. Ooh. Well, actually, that's what it used to be called. It's called Water Blend now. Um, but, because they repack this one as well. Love this for that no makeup makeup look perfect for summertime. It's made of 80% water, so it really just soaks right into the skin and just leaves a very soft pigment behind. So for you lovers who don't really like to wear makeup but want something on the skin, this is you. Tarte's um, Clay Stick I really liked. What else? Um, you know, that's it for foundations because I'm going to start getting into foundations that I don't really care about and I still keep them because I like to keep foundations because I told you guys I'm a hoarder. Let's move on. Next drawer. So this drawer is more palettes but newer palettes. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Newer palettes and then lots of like single eyeshadows. So we got the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. This palette is Beautiful. I personally like this over her first palette. Um, don't come for me because I said that. I don't know. I just, I really like the colors in here. They're beautiful. And her whole like aesthetic behind this palette was just so, it was perfect. Her like in a desert, in a beautiful dress, like look at her. She looks gorgeous. So this is my favorite packaging and shades of her palettes. I'm a huge fan of ColourPop. We got ColourPop the I Think I Love You palette. You guys saw that in my last video along with the Double Entendre. You guys saw that in my last video. So if you want to see what they look like, just hop over to that video. Some more ColourPop. I love these palettes. The Soul and Mar. Ooh, let me open them. These are summer palettes written all over. Look at those shades. I still have not used this palette, and I meant to use it this summer and didn't. So I'm gonna be using that soon. And then this one, I did use this one once, but I really want to do some type of um, tutorial on this, or just like a really beautiful look with these, because these are gorgeous. Another color pop, you guys know I'm a big fan of color pop. This one is the Golden State of Mind palette. These are all just like very highly reflective eyeshadows. This is why I really like that palette. We got the Lorac Pro palette one and two, or no, maybe this one's the three. Oops, yeah, that one's the three. One and three. This, I don't know if I told you guys before, this palette was the first, first, first palette that I had bought at Sephora that was like a prestige line. Like I bought a little eyeshadow palette from Sephora when I was 16 and it was like $25. But this, when I first started working here, this was like the first big girl purchase that I bought. Hit pan on a lot of the shades. Um, basically the first row was like the only row I used and then I lightly would use the rest. This was $42 when it came out. I was again 19 and so scared to spend money like that and I did and I remember I tried having buyer's remorse because I was like, you're 19, you can't afford that because honestly I really could not have afforded this at the time. But I was like, no, if you're gonna be a makeup artist and you wanna learn and you wanna be the best, I'm like, you're gonna have to spend it. And I spent it and I did not regret it. This really taught me a lot how to do makeup. So. Lorac Pro Palette, I will forever have you. The third one's just as beautiful, just a little softer. These palettes, I swear by, I think they are just so nostalgic to me, and they're so perfect with their shade colors and their formulas. 
All right, Anastasia, we got the modern renaissance. We got the subculture. We got the soft lamb, which is not mine. This is Bree's. I need to give that back to her, so I'm just going to set that right there. Carly Bible. I've been watching Carly Bible for years. When she came out with this, I was... I think this is the first palette I ever bought for like a YouTuber collab. And I was just like, I support her 100%. She's, um, seems so amazing. And so I did. What else? Marc Jacobs. Again, so these palettes, I want to say are like $60. They're pretty up there. But there was just something so luxe and amazing about having these cute little shadow palettes. So I have that one, then I got the Siren one, which was the colorful, the most colorful one I've ever seen him have. And then I got this guy, and these are beautiful purples. I still have yet to try this out. Yeah, I have a lot of things that I haven't worn yet, but um, that's why I got a problem. Ooh! I forgot about these, the hourglass shadows. I thought these were so cool when these came out. People were so half and half on this. Like some people hated the fact that all of the shadows were mashed together. They're like, how could they even come out with this? This is so stupid. And I was like, oh my God, give it to me. It's so innovative. This one is the Obscura. I loved this palette. Okay, I need to keep this one out because I need to do a look on this. I actually have a look on this from like three years ago that I did. But these shadows, I just loved the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. Some of my single, ooh, single shadows that I got here, these ones are liquid ones. They are the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. I love these colors. This one is, can't really read the name, okay. Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold. Khaki cool, it's like bronze something, right? Bronze sheen, and then beige luster. Those are my favorite shades out of that um, little collection that they came out with. One of my favorite gold shadows that I've ever had the pleasure of having in my life is the Milani Baked Eyeshadow. This is in the color Drenched, Drench in Gold. Drench in gold. I used to use, I think I got this back in like 2012, honestly. I wore this gold in every look that had a gold look in it. I would always reach for this one. Even if I had a palette that had a gold, I was like, nope, this is the best gold. What else do I got in here that's worth looking at? Oh my gosh, the Stila shadows. These are so old. Um, these I actually got from H&M a few years ago. I think I got them like two years ago when they came out with makeup. thought it was cool to at least try them out. This bad boy, I forgot all about it. Laura Mercier. These were so amazing. This is in the color Black Carrot. It's a baked eyeshadow. Um, you can use this wet or dry. Using them wet though was the key. Okay, now I need to keep this out. I don't know if she even has these anymore. I need to look into that because these I used to love using at Sephora, but again, these like seven years ago when I used them. Oh my gosh. Oh, and another thing. Okay, this I got when NARS first came out with these eyeshadows, and this was their dual intensity eyeshadows, and this is in the color, yeah, Kalisto. Let's open this bad boy. I loved this shadow. It's like a really pretty silver but it has like this mauve kind of tint to it really pretty these dual intensity eyeshadows are really really amazing moving on down here is a little bit of musk i keep basically more just like random palettes down here that i didn't have the heart to get rid of and then basically all of my lashes so these lashes I have in this little section right here are all from AliExpress. They are $2 mink lashes that took four weeks to get to my house. It's so worth it. And then I'm actually a really big fan of Ardell. So I just own a lot of Ardell's lashes. One of my favorite styles from Ardell, if I'm going to do a band lash, is the Wispies 
one two two could you please zoom in super wispy like i you know i love natural lashes but besides that i just basically stick with all individuals you guys see me show these a lot in my videos so nothing new there these are just basically all the same styles just wispies wispies foam ink wispies can't can't beat it oh and then some lily lashes the miami i think the miami are the best style in her collection but that's just me some sephora baked eyeshadows down here then i have another sephora baked shadows i thought these were so cute when they came out with um the baked shadows i like using um, baked eyeshadows wet so this palette I used basically only wet when I did use it oh, I forgot how much I loved using this um, this was what color was this called in the tropics so yeah really loved all these shades purples were beautiful those warm tones and that green gorgeous you want to know what palette made me become the makeup artist I am <laughs> it's this guy right here oh my gosh I got this when I was 16, 15, or 16 years old. This was the first um, palette, like professional palette that I got, but I didn't purchase this myself. You guys, I told you that I purchased my first professional palette, which was the Lorac that was with my own money, but this was given to me for Christmas. I had asked for it. I saw this palette. I was like, oh my God, this is everything I've ever wanted. It was $60. I remember when I put it down on my Christmas list, I was afraid that I wasn't going to get it just because it was so expensive. And my parents pulled through. And I'm telling you, like, this is what made me become a, a true makeup artist. Like, I've loved makeup since I was a little girl and I always played with makeup. But this is what made me become the artist as you can see i used the heck out of these um the shadows not so much i obviously had like favorites that i used daily um but i don't know let me see if you can guys see purples were like my second favorite so those are pretty dug in there but everything else was just like lightly touched I was either wearing a lot more neutrals or purples and then everything else, you know. And what was so cool about this palette, so it had the mirror, then it had these compartments, which I ripped one of the compartments out. It was, I believe, eyebrows or is the eyebrows in here? No. Oh, wow. I took out both compartments. Okay, never mind. So I think in here used to be like something with cream. I remember there was either like cream blushes or cream lipsticks. And after I had this for so long, I had to rip it out because it was going to get nasty. So I ripped that out. And then in here, I remember they had like a whole section on brows. So all the brow colors that you could possibly have. And I use that every day. Even when I stopped using this palette, I still use the brows every day. So I remember I ripped that out so I could just have like the brows sitting on my vanity. But yeah, guys, this palette is 10 years old. And I just keep it now because I can't get rid of it. Like this is what made me become who I am. So how could I throw this away? I just can't. It'll forever be with me. Okay, so moving along to the top of my vanity. So I have this acrylic case here and I have an acrylic case right there. So typically with my acrylic cases, I try to keep my most used products there. But who am I lying? Like I don't, I don't use all that. So in my first drawer, I have all of my ColourPop eyeshadows right here. I actually want to do a video on all my ColourPop products because I kind of have a lot. Um, but some favorites that we got here. This one's Ritz. Ooh, this one I really, really love. This is called Game Face. Ooh, Nillionaire. I loved Nillionaire. So basically all of these and then these down here are all brand new. So I want to go a little bit more in depth with those, but love love color pops super shock eyeshadows i got two melt stacks that i talked about in my other videos this is the gunmetal one and then this one is the dark matter so far i like them i do want to use them a couple more times to see how i truly feel about them but i do like them and then the dose of colors block party shadows these shadows guys are just phenomenal i used one of the shades 
jackpot in my olive smoky tutorial so if you guys want to check that out to see how these shades um, sit and wear on the skin this one's called sky's the limit but they're just very highly reflective and um, just very very beautiful on the lid this guy is my little nude section I have Sephora Marcella lipstick when they had their Marcella collection oh, this was like my favorite color of the year that they came out with so beautiful um, what else do I got Buxom the nudist lipstick one of my favorites as well what else do I got in here that like stands out to me. Ooh, this was given to me by my best friend like seven years ago. This is the Chanel lip gloss and it's in the color gold light. I used to wear this daily. Um, I'll still wear it. Yeah, it's seven years ago. I'll still wear it. Then I got my reds. Marc Jacobs. Dior. I'm a big fan on Dior lipsticks. They're just so luxe to me. This NARS one. This is in the color. I can't even read that. It's like place something. This is like a raspberry red pink. It was 2012. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you guys are probably like, wow, you're so weird. I remember dates to everything, but I wore this all 2012 Christmas. 2011 Christmas. I'm sorry. 2011 Christmas into the the 2012 year so that's why I keep that I'll always have it um, we got some Fenty lipstick got some NARS Dolce Vita a very very popular well-known nude makeup forever these liquid lipsticks wow amazing I don't know if they still carry them I feel like they were here for a short period of time I think they still have them though but if you got your hands on one of these they're so extremely pigmented these ones are like purples and mauves this lipstick sephora i actually really like the sephora lipsticks this was in the color huh, mo3 i used to wear this one a lot um very very pretty mauvey nude lipstick i was really into mauve nudes for a long time and then i switched to just like neutrals i don't know Orgasm Lip Gloss from NARS. Again, that staple that I was talking about. Marc Jacobs. This lipstick I wore every day for a year. This was called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I First of all, love the name. And this color was just, I never not had this on my lips. And every time I wore this, I would get so many compliments because this would just make my blue eyes even bluer. So every time I got a compliment, I was like, well, that's just another week I'm gonna wear this. And so I, not kidding you, I wore this for a year. Keep some beauty blender sponges, all different types of sponges and beauty blenders in here. Um, you know what, I'm gonna say this. I have tried all types of dupes for beauty blender and different things. And I will say nothing is as good as the beauty blender, the brand, the beauty blender, nothing. like. I tried there there's way more than this that I have like I've just thrown them away because I was like okay well that was freaking pointless but nothing better than the beauty blender this itself is the beauty blender and there's nothing better than it so then over here I keep majority of like my lipsticks and highlighters over here I have my Gerard lipsticks I have the colors nude buttercup 1995 and what other? Oh, kimchi doll. Yeah, that one broke like immediately when I got it. They were sweet though. They refunded my money, but do I wear it? No, it's broken, but I just keep it because it looks pretty up here. Dose of color shades. Um, I have no shade, more creamer please, and then aftermath. Then I have the liquid lipsticks, hot fire and savage. Then over here, some Gerard um, lip glosses and I have nude this should be called crystal yeah crystal and then well, I forgot what this one was called oh shimmer of hope one of my favorite lip glosses of all time this is Marc Jacobs and this is in the color moon glow enchanted so if you guys saw my last video I, I talked about how I have some nude lipsticks and lip glosses that I call my hooker nudes or just my nudes that make me feel super slutty 
This is that lip gloss. I put this on and boy, then I have my Fenty lip gloss. When this lip gloss came out, I feel like I stopped using all lipsticks and lip glosses because I was just so obsessed with this. Then I got some Pylee and Kim lip cream sticks, liquid lipsticks. Love these shades. They're one of my favorite shades to get in a bundle. You guys should get these. Other than that, I have um, this Buxom lipstick that I love. It's called Blushing Margarita. Did I say lipstick? I meant lip gloss. Did I say lip gloss? <laughs> Where am I? Um, you can notice that like this is all like nudes and pinky nudes. I love pinky nudes. And then I have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is um, in the shade Aquarius. I had to get it because I'm an Aquarius. My birthday is actually January 29th, guys. So these guys right here, so I'll show you this really quick. These are the Grande Lips. I have it in clear, and I have it in a um, tinted nude color. What is, I don't even know if it says the color on here. Um, and then I basically have the clear and the nude in the smaller versions because I love these glosses so much. They're super, super glossy. Um, they stick and stay to the lips, and then it does have a slight tingle to the lips, but I feel like I don't know, I feel like they just make my lips look good instead of other um, tingling lip glosses that just make them sting and look red and, and not attractive, but love. Then in the next one, I just have like random um, liquid lipsticks. I have Kat Von D and Anastasia one. These are Lip Land. These are all ColourPop right here. My all-time favorite liquid lipstick are these two actually right here. They're from the Sephora brand, and this is the color Always Red, and I used it in one of my tutorials for Halloween. And then this one is called Blackberry Sorbet, and then I got some Stila back here. I actually really love this nude. This is another stripper nude. Um, this is called Carmelo. It is so pretty, so hoey. Love this one. Oh, this is my NYX drawer. So. I actually am a huge fan of NYX's lipsticks. When I first started wearing um, just lipsticks in general, I grabbed NYX, and then throughout my career, I just bought more, and I'm obsessed with their lip liners. I've mentioned to you guys in my videos before, like I love NYX's lip liners. Also, the Makeup Forever ones, look at, this is how much I use them. I use them all the way till they're done, and then I don't throw them away because I'm a psycho. But Makeup Forever, NYX, and LA Girl lip liners, which is actually what I keep all up here. These are all my LA Girl ones right here. Oh, and some Urban Decay. I do like Urban Decay ones a lot. Favorite NYX lipstick was actually this guy right here. And this is called Indie Flick. Every time I wore the shade, I was a big, big lover on oranges. I had bright orange nails for, I'm not even kidding, like five years. And then I always wore orange lipstick. And it got to the point that anytime somebody saw the color orange, they would immediately think of me and be like, oh man, I thought of you. So this is my um, Becca drawer. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in my last video, but before like all highlighters became a huge thing and brands started making a ton, I loved Becca's. They were my favorite and then New brands just came out with other highlighters and I've kind of strayed away from them. I got Champagne Pop, of course. Opal, I should have Moonstone. Yep, Moonstone. Topaz and Rose Gold. And another Champagne Pop. Another drawer of highlighters. This one's a little bit more of a random assortment. Hourglass, love Hourglass. My favorite one would have to be the Luminous Light. This is just so, so soft and subtle. So it really just gives you that glow from within. Then I have this Dior. I love this packaging. This is their old, 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 old Dior. Um, which one is this one called? Pink Lace. So I actually didn't purchase this one. This one was given to me. So I told you guys in my other video, like I purchased, this was my first Dior highlighter purchase. I wasn't lying because this is, but I did get this one a long time ago, but I did not purchase it, but I don't really use it as much. I just think it's really pretty. Then we move over here. First drawer I got here. This is where I keep all my other lipsticks. I have them. Well, I tried to have them in order with colors, but it doesn't really work out that way. Ooh, I love essence that you get from the drugstore. I think you get this at Ulta. I don't know where else you can get essence from. 
Um, huge fan. Always been a huge fan of Essence. We got more of my drugstore stuff in here. Ooh, I used to use this L'Oreal lipstick all the time. Yes, this pink, I used to wear this all the time to work and to go out when I was 20, 21. You know what? Who talked about this lipstick? I feel like a YouTuber six years ago talked about Nude Delight and that's the only reason why I bought it that long ago and I still have it. It was probably Jaclyn Hill or something, honestly. Um, but it really was good. Like, whoever suggested it was right. It's fucking phenom. MAC Viva La Glam. This one's a really good one, too. I used to wear that all the time. I just have, like, a lot of lip pencils from different brands. Bite. I used to be obsessed with the Bite lipsticks. Very, very creamy. I love that they were all natural, too. These lipsticks last. 36 months or something. I've had them longer than that though, but I'm not gonna get rid of them because we know the drill. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of NARS's, their, their um, actual lip pencils. As you can see, they're kind of like dirty. If I'm gonna use a any type of a lip crayon pencil that I have to sharpen, it's NARS all the way, every day. Rakugian, is that how you say it? Rakugian, Rakugian. <laughs> That was my favorite color. Um, oh, I thought this was super cool. I got this. Let me bring this over here because you guys have to see this. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. You guys know I am a sucker for packaging. Look at this. It's a clear lipstick with a flower in it. It's called Crystal Lip Balm. Like, how bomb is that? This drawer is all new products that I've gotten. I should actually just put the color pop. Um, eyeshadows in here, but these are all the new products that I've gotten and I still want I still have yet to try so I got my entire um, Sugar brown sugar collection from color pop. I've only tried half of it so far. I have a Lot of products from Juvia's place that I still want to try these are all their highlighters and then her warrior palette is phenomenal I am very very impressed especially for the price I got some lipsticks from Too Faced, NARS lips. I'm excited to wear these more for the spring and the summer. What else? Then here is like my hair stuff. I'm a big hair scrunchie person. I love to wear scrunchies. And then if I'm not wearing scrunchies, I just like to collect scrunchies because I'm a weirdo. But being a 90s baby, scrunchies were always in. And then this drawer is my hair. I just got some hair. Um, all my hair extensions, my wigs. All of that is shoved in here. So yeah guys, this concludes my makeup collection. Sorry for another long ass video, but I really wanted to just show you guys thoroughly everything that I have. If I had to throw away everything that was expired, I would probably have half of this collection, <laughs> no joke. But I feel like powders to me don't really expire and they do, but to me in my head they don't. And then when it comes to like lipsticks or lip glosses, the only time I'll throw them away is if they like smell bad or are growing mold but honestly in all the years that I've been in makeup like I've never experienced any mold on any of my makeup so <laughs> thank you Lord please don't do that to me yeah this is it I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to all my videos if you guys like to see more and as always thank you guys so much for tuning in also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I am Amanda Devon and until then I will just see you guys all in my next video bye